Hello, 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 hello. This is Fred, the farmer and the agronomist, and we are back to our class. Like it has always been my farm, you are learning class, and it's purely practical. Every day is a learning day because uh, there is something new uh, that is done, there is something different we observe in the farm. So it always feels good to share with you farmers so that uh, you can be a good farmer. If you have, you have not uh, watched other videos uh, in watermelon farming, I've done so many videos from lad preparation, how to prepare the seeds, up to harvesting. This is just a review of what is supposed to be done in the farm. I have a full file of watermelon farming. So on this channel, go watch and learn. So, uh, there are so many things that are involved, or there are so many uh, things that you need to know as far as uh, watermelon is management is concerned. Be because uh, as a farmer, you know, uh, sometimes you don't need to be there in the farm, but you, you always need to, uh, to observe and to take care of your farm and uh, what is being done. So, but you need to know several things. One of the things you need to know and one of the things you need to observe even before you start your watermelon farming journey is water irrigation. Um, this has been uh, the biggest topic, this has been the biggest question uh, everybody is asking, how much water do I need uh, in my watermelon farm? And uh, the answer is have as much water as possible. If possible, have a, have a river that is flowing. Have a bowl that never dries. Yes, don't don't buy irrigation water. Don't bring a 10,000 tank and planning to, 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 to farm watermelon. Watermelon is watermelon not because of the water in the fruit, but because of the water it uses. That's why it's called watermelon. It uses a lot of water because the fruit, the plant doesn't manufacture any water, so it gets the water from the ground and store it in the fruit. So if you want a fruit, if you want a healthy watermelon, have water. So don't compromise on that. Uh, then you also need to check and know, you also need to know all the steps in watermelon nutrition the fertilizers which fertilizer to use at planting which fertilizer to use uh, at uh, vegetative which fertilizer to use at uh, flowering which fertilizer to use at fruit development and which fertilizer to use at um, at uh, ripening stage all these fertilizers are available organic and inorganic so you need to know them even if you're going to send somebody to to do your work even if you're using an agronomist even if somebody is guiding you as a farmer you need to know all these things for you to succeed failure to that you'll be used somewhere or somebody will exploit you and uh, i've shared all these things in my previous trainings please check and know what to use at and at what time because Without that knowledge, you may end up overspreading because some of us, some agronomists, some farm managers are all in your farm for business. They don't care whether your, your expenses are economical in growing. They don't care that. They can give you everything that is in the market. You, you are going to produce but produce at a very ex, high expense uh, uh, production. And remember... To be competitive in the market, you have to have the lowest cost of production so that you can sell uh, your fruit at the lowest cost and make profit. So when you're forced to sell your 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 fruit at a certain uh, cost, at a high cost, so that you can make profit, know that something wrong happened. The next thing is the pest and the diseases. You should know which pest attacks at what time because they attack at different time depending by the environmental condition of the day depending by the stage of growth because what attacks at a, 
at um, germination is not water tracks at fruiting stage is not water track at ripening stage so you need to know all this space. the same applies with the diseases you need to know all the diseases in order to be able um, to control them all the classes have been provided in this channel please go watch learn this is just a review of what is supposed to be done and what you need as a farmer in order to succeed um the first uh, remember the fruit what variety to grow you get that from the market i may not be in a position to advise you on the best variety because what my market demand is not what your market may be demanding so go to the market know what the market is maybe it's a noblong watermelon it's a round watermelon it's a citrus watermelon it's a, 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 a zebra striped watermelon you go to the market get the market uh, talk to the market let the market uh, advise you it is the boss with those tips uh, if you are it's the first time you're watching uh, this video or you're joining this youtube channel kindly subscribe share like don't forget to leave a comment i'm going to respond it may take time but i'm going to respond to your comment ask any question uh, so that i can guide you and i can uh, train you on what you need to know in order to be a successful watermelon farmer bye